Hi guys, welcome to the video. All right, today's video, I'm gonna try to help you guys out and give you some tips on the hit the road new game mode for 140 plus. If you guys are like trying to complete it without taking no damage to the vehicle, so first we're gonna start with the hero. So I've been using him; he's very helpful. I've been playing with um, how do I say this? I've been playing with random people, and we always get to the end, and then it's just we kind of get the the husks kind of um, attack the <clears throat> the van and yeah we lose the health and I had to restart all over but I I, I still love uh, this is honestly my favorite game mode in a while but okay so we're gonna use dragon scourge so he he's gonna increase the dragon slash range to three tiles width to two tiles and damage by 25 percent he's gonna be very helpful when you guys are um, going down that road then now we're gonna use our team perk. It's gonna be blast from the past. Then we're gonna use tail of the dragon. Dragon slash leaves behind an energized trail, which deals 26 base energy damage per second. Sorry, and claws. <clears throat> this guy is a must. You guys need him. So 20% chance to find coconuts in containers. Increases damage by 60% while affected by coconuts. He's gonna help you guys so much. Like when you guys have this guy, you can abuse the storm. You can like go in the storm and farm. That's why he's very, very useful. Then we have Sarian Hide. She, I just need it. I need to put her so I can activate the team perk. So she will, um, while shield is depleted, increase his armor. And then corrosive strikes, melee crits, melee critical hits apply 30% snare and affliction, which deals 37% of damage dealt each second for three seconds. Now for this one, you guys can put whatever you guys want, whatever um, ca caters to you. So for me, I want to use this one. Okay. Now, we got that done. Alright, now the second tip. When you guys are doing this 140 power level mission, hit the road. Try to craft some defenders when you guys get to the end. It's going to help you guys a lot. All right, we're gonna move on to number tip number three. I'll see you guys there. One second. Okay, so pretty much what you're looking for is you want three dragon scorches and one farming hero. So I'm gonna show you guys a farming hero. You guys can copy it or do it how you want. But this is how mine is. So I'm using Fossil Southly. You can either use him or her. But yeah, here's the build. So if when I load up the Hit the Road mission, if I see people, if I see three people with the um, the Dragon Scorch guy, then I will switch to this because you you want to have somebody that will constantly farm and can constantly craft traps. You need that. It's going to be very, 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 very helpful. <clears throat> now, I'm going to jump in. I'm going to do a private match. And I'm going to show you guys how I play it. So then you guys can learn from me. So I will see you guys there. Alright. It starts right now. I'm going straight to this house. And looking for coconuts. Quick, quick loot, quick loot, quick loot. Remember, I'm a Dragon Slash guy, so I need to be up front always. The farmer, he needs to get the material for traps. That's very important. Oh, they took my spot. That's okay. If they take your spot, you guys are like your... What's it called? Your sweet spot that you always go to. If they take it, it's fine. Just find another route. <clears throat> also pick up guns and dismantle them because you really don't need that much weapons when you're using this guy you're mostly just dragon slashing everything don't think so all right time's up did i get any coconuts i did all right i'm gonna delete all this because i don't use it 
I'm gonna delete this and use the 116. Okay. Now, put my coconuts. There you go. <clears throat> now I'm looking at the map, right? Top right. I'm waiting for it to. S I'm waiting for that spawn. As soon as I see it. Okay, it's right here, so I'm gonna wait, and then we're gonna dragon splash now. There you go. That's all you have to do. Now hopefully my team can shoot them. And uh... Just stay with the freaking uh... Let's go. <clears throat> stay with the vehicle. You just want to stay with it. You don't want to go over there and do whatever you want. You just want to stay with the vehicle. Alright, Dragon Slash. Dragon Slash. Yeah, like I said, make sure you guys get like at least three people with Dragon Slash is, is very important. And maybe one farmer or one constructor. Alright, spawns right here. So we're gonna Dragon Slash it. There we go. Also, if you guys see swords, pick that up. That's gonna help you guys a lot. Hopefully my team can hold that. There's an enemy here. I see him. Come here. Nice. Alright. I just heard a flinger. Yep. Get rid of him fast, because this guy will be a pain in the butt. Right now it should be really easy. You guys should be... Fine, but remember the farmers they need to do the constructing so this right now I got constructed tower they need to do that me I need to watch the van this is difficult but then again it's easy once you keep doing it over and over and over and over and you start learning the spawns and all that so we only have one spawn so I could just chill here put up a turret that's it simple Oh, we got a smasher. Nice. Oh, these are very helpful too. If your team can shot this out for you, and then the... And if you can hit this, you get a lot of material. Alright, I gotta go in front of the van. Remember guys, if you're running this hero, you gotta constantly be in front, like this, and you just gotta spawn trap them all. You have to have that confidence. And then the farmers, they should be giving you guys material and everything. They should, this is a team, it's not just, you know, solo. Everybody should be helping each other. Okay, I'm gonna drop a turret here, and then I'm gonna go search real quick. I need I need coconuts. This is very important for my survivability. I am not getting any. There we go. And we're back. Okay, I'm doing really good. All right, we're almost to the second phase. We're doing really good. Oh, these enemies are gonna flank us. Watch out for these people. Because they're gonna flank the van and we might get hit. See, look at this, look at them, look at them, look at them. Look at these little cutie pies. Alright, when you guys get to this one, this one will always give you like more health. So if you guys took damage from before, when you guys complete this uh, s second phase, it's gonna ask you to like restore health or it will speed up the vehicle. So if you guys took some hits, then you will select the one where it restores the health. And if you never got hit yet, then you guys will select the bottom one, which increases the speed of the vehicle. And we have 30 seconds left, so this is my perfect time to go farm for coconuts. 
you for consent, you will be rewarded semi handsomely. Still get no coconuts, come on. Coconuts, please. Oh, I'm having bad luck right now. There it is. Perfect. I see three enemies over here. Let's, let's help him. Also, yeah, the farmers, they can do a stalling technique. I like doing that, where you just build. Like, you literally build. Like a... Like crazy. Build like this whole... Build from here... To here. To just block their path. So then they struggle to come over here. You guys can do that too, if you're playing a farmer. So yeah, you're gonna get to choose these two. I'm gonna choose this one, because we already have 100% health. We don't need that. Alright. Checking our coconuts, we only have eight. Um, What's with the guitar case on your truck? Try to have at least 15 coconuts. Like that, perfect. 14, 15. That's gonna help you guys a lot. And if you guys are starting to like go down to like 8, start searching again. But make sure you're constantly in the front. So make sure you look for the time where you can go search. Don't just go when there's enemies spawning everywhere. Alright, now you guys can exploit this mission. So, pretty much, it's, it's build a bridge. So, I'm gonna break this. Build out of metal. Boom, boom, boom. Hopefully, my team got it. There we go. Now we gotta build like this. That, that, that. Boom. You see? I'm the only one that knows like what to do right now. Seems like they're new to this, maybe. But there you go, look at that. I already built. I'm out of mats, they need to come help me. If you're getting shot at, just build. Like that. Super shutter, I'll try it out. Ah, nice. nice, perfect. That's what you need. Okay, you can have that. No, I need that. <laughs> also, kill these guys. These guys are a pain in the butt. You need to end them fast. Also, I forgot to cover something. Um, go to your backpack, then go to the um, trap section. And now, I want you guys to track your traps, if that makes sense. So you know what material you need. So if you guys need oxidized, you need to hit the rocks. If you need efficient or sleek, you need to hit cars, anything that's metal, kind of. Yeah, and then planks you need from trees. So I constantly use these traps, they're very helpful. Now, when you guys get to the end and you know that the truck gets all the way to the end and you have to defend it. So when there's a like, there's two uh, trap tunnels pretty much you can make. There's one where it's like uh, the zombies will go upstairs or the husks will go up the stairs and they will attack your van. When you, So that side I want you guys to make a, um, what's it called? What is the trap called? Um, wall launcher. The wall launcher trap uh, built. So pretty much you want to put like five wall launchers on that side. 
where the husks go up that ramp. You want to put it right right up there, and they will just and once they const you know they'll constantly keep coming up, and they will get hit by the launcher, and then so pretty much if a smasher is coming up, it'll get hit by the wall launcher, it'll fling him, and then he has to come up again, and then he has to do it again, and it, it will just keep repeating in circles and circles and circles. So wall launchers are very 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 useful to use. Um, what else? Broadside cannons, very useful. Gas traps are very hard to tame. Unless you're a farmer, then yeah, it'll be easy. Um, what else? Wooden floor spikes. Floor launchers are very useful. Freeze traps are very useful. The tar pit can be very useful. Um, Wall darts can be no. I I I'd rather you guys use um, broadside cannons than wall darts. But if you don't have broadside cannons, then go with wall darts. But like, if I would pinpoint the best traps to use is, and it's like the easiest to get, it's probably the broadside cannons because you guys can get that when you're moving in the road. So when you guys see a car, you can hit that. When you see a tree, you can hit that. When you see rocks, you can hit that. And that's all you need to craft. A broadside cannon. Now for a gas trap, you need bacon, uh, nuts and bolts, and that can be kind of hard to get if you're not a farmer. And th that's why I'm saying when if you're playing a farmer, you need to have very strong traps. If you don't have strong traps, then you need to switch to this hero right here, Dragon Scorch. You gotta switch to him. This is very important. Ah. Uh, uh, one more tip. What? Uh, let's see. Okay. Another tip. When you guys start your, when you guys start the match, and the bus starts going, I want you guys to look for explosive weapons. That can come in very, very clutch, especially in the end when the uh, husks turn to power level two hundred four. Also, when the smashers come, you can constantly keep knocking them back. That's very useful. And that is my final tip on hit the road game mode. Hopefully this helps you guys out. And thank you guys for watching. And peace out. Bye guys. I love you.